Hey, how's it going guys? So in today's video, we're just gonna open up some Shining Legends pin collection boxes. Uh, I got me, I got my hands on a Pikachu one, and I also got my hands on a Mewtwo one. But yeah, I actually haven't opened any Shiny Legends at all. So this is my actual, my first actual Shining Legend packs that I'm gonna be opening. So I'm very excited to see what, what I get out of them. I'm already excited because I'm a very huge Mewtwo fan and I'm a very huge Pikachu fan. Well, everyone likes Pikachu. He's like the mascot of the Pokemon company. But yeah, so with that said, let's get into these boxes and hopefully we get some good things out of them. I'm hoping to get a couple shinies out of these. But yeah. All right, guys, so let's get into these. Um, I don't know which one to get into first. I like Pikachu, but I also love Mewtwo. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Pikachu one. Oh, uh, messed up. No, I got it. I think I got it. Oh my God, this is. <laughs> look at this. Look. <laughs> All right, I'm just just gonna tear this one apart because we don't care about the cardboard ones. Care about what's inside of it. So this comes with a nice, awesome-looking Pikachu pin, a Pikachu promo, which goes well with your Raichu GX if you pull one out of here. Just to get a code, you get three packs. So let's get into these. I'm already excited, guys. Um, one, two, three, four. I think this also has the card trick. I may be mistaken, but we'll find out right now. So we got a super scoop up, a spirit bomb. Wait, spirit bomb, incineroar, a dark energy, a torque another Pikachu. Looking at a rainbow and stuff. We got a Jinx. A Shroomish. Oh, Minum. I like Minum. I like Minum and Plusle. These Pokemon are adorable. Got a Reverse Foil. Bulbasaur. Oh, nice. We got a Hoopa. Oh, wait. We got a Hollow in every pack. Never mind. Um, I got I, I was all like, yeah, Hoopa. Like, because we didn't know what we were getting. But I forgot that these packs come with a Hollow each pack. But yeah. This has Scondro Guard. Which is also like the same effect that uh, the Ninetales has, that it can't be hit by EXs or GXs. So this is actually really good. Not bad. Going on to pack number two. One, two, three, four. So I guess the card trick does work with these. But yeah. So you got us an Ultra Ball, a Feraligator, which if you guys didn't know, Totodile, Feraligator, and uh, Chrono. Those are my favorite Pokemon from Gen 2. Just a little fun fact for those of you that didn't know. How? How are you? <laughs> Metal Energy. Ivysaur. Torkoal. Minum. Jinx. Scraggy. Oh, Reverse Foil. Warp Energy. And a Reshiram. With the Outrage Attack. Yeah. It's pack number two. Ooh, we got a Venusaur. Cool. This is actually really good, and we've been talking about it a lot. So, Fromantis GX might see play because of this, because uh, it does give it two energies, and its flower supply lets you get two energies from your discard pile. So, we're trying to cook something up with that. So, we might make something with grass work. So, yeah. Which it kind of doesn't really matter, because... Um, well, it helps against Gardevoir if you're hitting for big numbers because you only have two or three energies on it. So that's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully this this turns out to be a good idea. Anyways, we got a Charbuck with Intimidating Pattern. As long as you're a Pokemon, as long as this is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon, to attack do 30 less damage. Oh, that's not bad. Another Incineroar, a Psychic Energy, a Cronog, 
a Jinx, Plusso, yay, Toro Cat, a Toro Dial, Bocorona with Heat Cycle. Once during your turn, you may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. So it's a, it's practically a Guzma. Wait, you may have. It's a Guzma, but they choose. So it's kind of, it's more of an escape rope. And a Marshadow. Woohoo! Let loose. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench during your turn, you may have each player shuffle their hand into their decks and draw four cards. That's actually pretty good if you're doing like mill or, or disruption. Uh, so if you're trying to mill them out and they only have like a card in their hand, you do this. They draw four cards. Mill, mill, mill. But yeah, I'm just saying. I like playing very bad decks. Anyways, let's get into this box. I was able to open this one without damaging it because Mewtwo is my Pokemon of choice. Just like the Pikachu pack, you get a nice, cool-looking Mewtwo pin. You also get a Mewtwo promo, which this has pressure, the ability pressure. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon do 20 less pressure, 20 less damage. That's not bad. Actually, pretty good for Mewtwo. Plus, the artwork looks really awesome. And just, I'm just saying. Watch me get a test to me two out of this. I hope so. That's honestly the only thing I'm looking in this set for. That test tube me two. Mmm, beautiful. So we got a metal energy, we got a great ball, we got a scrappy. Uh energy retrieval, cool fish, uh stunfish, bulbasaur, golet, boltorb, Barizian, Yavelta. Nice. Because we can't have enough Javelta apparently. No such thing. Four. Got a Fairy Energy. Damage Mover. Spirit Tome. Electrode. Stunfish. Totodile. Litten. Meow. Oh, look, another cat. Uh, Perloin. Perloin. Boltorb, Lightbird, Reverse Foil, and then there you go, Uh oh, I'm gonna get three of those. I should pull three of those out of these. So we got us a Water Energy, Pokemon Breeder, Electrode, Great Ball, Boltorb, Lid In, Purloin, Zoror, Zoror. So Rora, Golette, Galort. This looks like looks like that. Uh, looks like a robot. And a Restram. Yeah, these are cool. Honestly, guys, these I like the artworks on these guys. These are actually pretty cool looking. If I do say so myself, you know, like yeah, the packs are kind of like, eh, they're okay, but. Um, the packs are okay, but the artwork's really good. So yeah, so those that was the two uh, pin collection boxes that I opened right there. There you guys have it. That's that was the two boxes that I opened right there. We got some really cool stuff. Like not amazing, like oh my god, but the Hoopa was really cool. What else did we get out of here? Uh, the Hoopa, the Warp Energy Reverse Foil. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but yeah. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Oh, what the? Before I forget. Guys, I've been talking about um, something that I've been working on for the last couple days. And I've been trying to get something put together to show you guys. And I did it. I have something to show you guys. So yeah. So, without further ado, my super secret top secret project thing to kind of make more income for the channel so then we can so I can do better giveaways because I like 
I don't mind. I like doing giveaways, but I don't like it when I have to give you guys like just two packs and stuff. Like I don't, I don't like that. I want to give you guys like something that you'll be like, wow, like Pokemon Hero or David, whatever you guys refer to me as. Some people actually like they'll come up to me and they're like, hey, it's Pokemon Hero, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, that's me. <laughs> like I keep forgetting that I have like a a name now. So, but like. <laughs> David Sandman Benitez. <laughs> Honestly, Billy, that was that was the best thing that I heard, and I, it made me crack up. I'm still cracking up about it now, and it's like days later. Um, but yeah, guys, I want to give you guys some good giveaways. I want you guys to be like, wow, like I'm so happy he sent me this, you know, or like, oh my god, like this is awesome. Because I know some of you, you guys don't have that. You don't have a way to get some of this product, whether it is that. You live somewhere where a product isn't available to you guys or you live somewhere where shops are too far away from each other for you to drive out every other day to pick up something to crack open. So that's why I want to give you guys something awesome and I want to be able to do it somewhere or another. So at this time, I am trying to find a way to make more income on the channel. But with that said, let me show you what it is. So, I am making pixelated art. And for those of you that know me long enough, I used to make pixelated art back in the day. Well, I didn't. Um, me and someone else were making them. They would make them and I would sell them. I would distribute them and I'd do all that good, good stuff. But it's come to the point where it's like, you know what? I need to start making them because this is something that I know how to do and people do request that every once in a while from me when I go to like other events and stuff like that. So I decided to start making and producing some of these to start selling pretty much. So yeah. So let me just break it down with you. So I make a background for this. Okay. So I make a background so then you guys are able to like have something like nice. It's kind of like it's kind of like a little poster. So yeah. <sighs> Sorry, my house phone. I know, right? I have a house phone. Um, very rude. Like, not considerate that I'm like talking to you guys. So rude. Anyways, so we got a nice little pixelated art here, okay? And a nice card to go with it. This is something you would frame up or put up on a wall or something. Uh, from, from an art view standpoint so yeah um, so I was thinking that I'd make I'd make these for you guys and I can custom make them as well so like it's not all Pikachu I just made Pikachu as the first one because Pikachu is something that I had available and something that I could put together very quickly so yeah um, I would be making these and I'd be charging eight dollars uh, for this which is it's actually pretty good for like eight bucks you get a nice little poster with a little pixelated art on there and a nice card um, I used the foil for this one because it's like it's my first one and I'm gonna keep it because it was the first one I made myself so this is this is thing with me but I would make another one with a regular common card and I would charge you eight dollars for that and if I had to ship it out to you so if you don't live near me or there was no way that I'd meet you and was able to hand it to you myself I charged two dollars for shipping so it comes out to like ten bucks but obviously I put in a nice little bubbled envelope ship that out to you get it nice and safe to you so you can either frame it or display it if you want me to frame it for you I I can possibly look for frames in this size and but then I would discuss that uh, through messaging or something to figure out what I would charge for shipping something framed and framing it up for you so yeah um, but yeah but if you guys are interested in these, um, I will post a picture of them on my Instagram. It should go up sometime shortly after this video. So do check that out. Send me a message on Instagram and we'll figure out PayPal or some type of payment method and then I'll get this packed up and shipped out to you. I'm making, so for right now, I'm just making the first 150 Pokemon. So if you have a request from anywhere from like Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu, Raichu, anything like that, just send me a message on, in on Instagram. Uh, let me know that you saw this video. Say like, hey, I saw your video with the pixelated art. 
um, I want something made uh, show show me what you got and obviously like for for the other Pokemon for like Charmander Squirtle stuff like that I use a different background I use lightning for this one because it's a Pikachu so Pikachu lightning it goes together so yeah so probably for like a Squirtle we'll probably have like a water energy background and for Charmander a fire energy background and I'd use different colors so yeah I'd make it I'll make it really cool for you so you'd be proud to have something made from me you know and that way we're that way I'm making money off of this and if I'm making money off of this I can generate more money to buy product to give you guys more stuff that's pretty much how it is so yeah so if you guys are interested hit me up on Instagram I'd be more than happy to talk to you and figure out something that I can make for you because I want to make stuff that makes at the end of the day look look I'm just I'm gonna nice I'm gonna put it all together for you guys at the end of the day I wanna I wanna make you guys happy that's what I want to do I want to make sure I want to make sure that I do everything possible to give you something that you enjoy and something that you like whether it's you're watching one of my videos and you're like oh my god he's pretty funny or oh my god he's getting good pulls or like he's having a good time opening packs and I'm enjoying watching him open packs or it's like I'm giving you content from like top players like I have a video from Mark Garcia, Israel Sosa, Kenny Britton like I'm giving you top players response of what the meta is and what they're doing so if you enjoy that hey if I'm bringing some type of happiness to you that's pretty much what I want to do at the end of the day if this is something you want and you want to be like oh I like this a lot I want I want something artistic in my room or I want to frame something up at the office or wherever it is that you want this for let me know I'd be more than happy to put something together and get it to you whether I ship it to you whether I hand it to you myself I if you live nearby or if we're going to like a league cup or a league challenge or a regionals and I'm gonna be in your area I'd be more than happy to meet you I I'm not one of those I'm not one of those guys that's like oh no well whoa excuse me I'm famous now like don't talk to me like don't come up to me I'm not like that like I don't let stuff like that get to my head I'm I'm here to help and meet all of you like I really don't mind meeting some of you I met some of you at Worlds you came up to me you, you gave me some handshakes some hugs I had a great time we talked for a couple minutes about like stuff that we were playing what the meta was stuff like that I have I love meeting people I that's just who that's who just eh, that's just who I am but yeah Anyways, I'm sorry, that little rant that I went on. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video if anybody wants to see the pulls out of the pink collections. I probably will be opening more pink collection stuff because I don't have elite trainer boxes at my disposal at the moment. But if I get my hands on one, I'll be more than happy to open one of those on the channel for you guys. So yeah, with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll oh, Sorry. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>